Hey everyone, this is Claudia. Good morning to you. I'm coming to you from my kitchen and as I promised you, I was going to have a demonstration on a beverage that uh, I enjoy early in the morning or midday and then um, as a nightcap at night. So it's pretty much going into your cupboards and checking in to see how many varieties of teas you have. And in my case, I opt for the herbal teas because after my large cup of coffee in the morning, I shot caffeine at about 11 o'clock because then I can't sleep at night. I have one of those um, hyper temperaments. So this is something that I came up with with a couple of products that I discovered um, in trying to keep a low carb diet. And the tea has nothing to do with the diet, but I will share with you the the different nut milks that I use and the monk fruit sugar that I use. My favorite tea of all time is this Celestial Seasonings. And this particular one is almost like a chai, except it doesn't have the black tea and it doesn't have the caffeine, but it has hints of cardamom and it has cinnamon and a different Indian brew spices. So it's a, a favorite and this is the one that I'm going to use. I also love the orange and spice. And another favorite here, especially for my husband, is the glazed lemon loaf. It almost feels like you're drinking a pound cake with poppy seeds in it. And a beautiful one that I discovered at a cooking class that I taught at a customer's home is this beautiful um, presentation. And this one is called African uh, Autumn. And it has roboy and orange and it's very aromatic. And all of these teas are creamy. So because they are creamy, they're gonna make a very wonderful blend with uh, nut milks. And I'm gonna share with you my favorite ones, of course. There's Almond Breeze with the vanilla and uh, coconut, coconut milk, which is yummy. But what I love treating myself to, and I will have this at the end of the show, is the macadamia nut. Really creamy and thick, and just like when you were eating those uh, macadamia nuts. So what I did before is I took my kettle and I steamed, um, four cups of water and I made um, hot brews and cold brews. So when I do the cold brews, I put them in a mason jar and I keep them in the refrigerator. Then I would take my martini shaker and I will put in, this is a cup, I have eight ounces here. And then I will take my almond milk, I'm sorry, my macadamia milk, and I will use a quarter cup of it. Look how nice and creamy that is. And then this is an amazing discovery and they happen to sell this at Town & Country on um, college. It's called Lapanto Maple Flavor Sugar syrup and it's made with monk fruit so it has no calories it's not like stevia that has a bitterness and it's equal to a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar and if you taste it it's just like sugar and then i will take two teaspoons of this delightful maple syrup look at that one just because i like it sweet and two and Oops, there's something else I wanted to show you. And then I also take some MCT oil and it calls for a tablespoon. And what is that going to do? Is going to help me uh, not have hunger for a few hours because now that we are stuck at home, a trip to the refrigerator seems to be a common destination. And I don't want it to go to my hips. So I will shake it and then I'm going to pour it in my glass.
and there you have it. You could also use your blender. And if using your blender, you could take half of an avocado and put it in there for an additional fat. Maybe skip the MCT oil. And at night for a nightcap, skipping the avocado and the MCT oil is this beautiful um, tequila. Look at this beautiful bottle. And it's called Clase Azul. And it's probably... Uh, one of the costiest tequilas out there. My husband got it as a farewell present from his previous employer and I'm the one enjoying it because it has caramel flavoring in it. So maybe I would put half an ounce and I would sip this in the evening. But for now, this is going to hold me till one o'clock. Salud, amigos. Mm. You know, an horchata of different sorts. Stay well, healthy, and in the next couple of days, I will come to you and show you how to make your own blend of spices so that you go to your cupboard and get all the spices and herbs that you have and come up with your signature ones, okay? Hasta la vista.